just finished the burpee muscle up. Yeah. You got 28, you tied for first place. Yeah. How are you feeling after that? Well, I'm a little bummed out. I got, I caught. You got first place in that event. How come you're you know bummed what? out? I did it in practice. I did it in practice fresh without doing overhead squats. I got six minutes for 30 burpee muscle ups. Then I did it after doing overhead squats, like ran it just like this, and I got 602. So today, I think I was, I didn't do jack. Yeah, I didn't but yeah. Do Jackie. I was gonna say you did Jackie did a Jackie. few hours ago. So um, unfortunately, that slowed me down. I didn't think I really thought I would finish with time to spare. I wanted to finish 30 Furby muscle ups. So the fact that I was too shy of finishing was a little bummer. Tell us about those overhead squats. No, no offense, but you don't look like the kind of guy that could just throw that weight around like that so easily. You're so quiet and unassuming. You beat all these guys that outweigh you by like. 100 pounds. Right. Your, your strength, your size isn't your strength. So. so what is it, how can you throw around so much weight? I know you're deceptive, undeceptive. Practice. You're, you're strong as hell. Just practice. So is it technique? I mean, do you have really good technique? A little bit of technique and just uh, a lot of uh, lifting, a lot of practice. Okay. A lot of crossfit. And you flew through the burpee muscle ups. I did alright, yeah. All right. What was your time? Just uh, uh, under five minutes? Something like that, yeah. yeah. I like your glitter. I got glitter bombed got by glitter -bombed. who else but Gretchen. <laughs> so Gretchen, you got 28 reps. I got 28. You, uh, I didn't finish. You, you didn't finish. You didn't get. You didn't finish, but you That's still okay. tied for first place. Yeah, so you, you can't feel bad about that, right? Right. Yeah. Um, how do you feel at the end of the day, too? I feel good. Um, second event, second and third events went really well. I PR'd on the on the overhead squat. Uh, well, my doing just like PR, but better than I'd done in practice. Um, so it's good. Good finish in the day. My warm up right before I walked out, I missed a rep on my overhead. Squat, so I walked out and I was like, oh god. So you in your mind, were you? Yeah. Uh, uh, kind of, but I mean, I tried to think about like when I used to compete in gymnastics and be like, okay, I've had meets where I fall in every single skill and warm up, and then you go out and you gotta be like, all right, I know the correction I need to make, I'm just gonna do it. So it worked out. Plus, you're wearing glitter. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. I mean, that, like a girl in glitter, <laughs> Yeah. you don't mess with that. Definitely not. No. Steve Pinkerton, it's the end of day one. Tell us, tell us what your thoughts are. <laughs> My thoughts were about a 45 minutes ago would have been a little bit different. I had a pretty good game plan for the overhead squat muscle ups, and it just goes to show, man, you gotta come in here no matter what you get at home. If you don't execute the last 20 seconds of any workout, you're gonna pay the price. And uh, I failed number 30 on the muscle ups for a good 40 seconds and dropped a lot from where I was before that. So now I got some work cut out for me. So what was your time for the burpee muscle ups? 657 or 658. So. And the vast majority of that was just on that one yeah. rep? Yeah, I was on pace for just about six minutes and started failing and it took me three times, so. Did you have a specific pace you were going at on yeah. the muscle ups? Yeah, I wanted to be at 130 uh, for 10 and I was and then 15 at uh, under four and I was and everything was going well until the last one. So you're doing well so far. How does that affect you going into day two? Um, I knew today, I was hoping today would be a good day for me. Uh, it doesn't really affect anything going into day two. The hundreds workout is not a strength of mine, so just gotta kinda stick with it, jump through that one. Um, and then, you know, a deadlift box jump is just a little bit simpler, just go for it. Uh, but yeah, it should be a good, good start to the weekend. What do you want to accomplish tomorrow? Um, tomorrow's a tough day, so uh, focus on the hundreds tonight and see what happens. I don't know, try to stay, you know, keep a good consistent pace through the workout and not burn out before the dumbbells. What's so tough about it? Just the volume? <laughs> yeah, probably. A lot on your back. So, just trying to... Do you like the volume or do you like the shorter workouts? I definitely like longer workouts over shorter workouts probably. Okay. Cool. If I had to pick. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll be more than happy to let you have the long one, so okay. go home and get some rest. Hey, All right, man. thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good night.